How's it going guys? It's me, Pair of Dice, back at it with another how to fix it style video. So um, you guys are here because you can't launch Master Chief on Game Pass on the Microsoft Store, on the Xbox or the PC beta app for Xbox. It gives you this error message right here. This app can't open because it's offline. The storage device might be disconnected. Um, in this case, I'm gonna be using Halo the Master Chief collection, but this process works exactly the same for any Game Pass game. Uh, Gears of War, Halo, Halo Wars, like any of them, doesn't matter, this works. Um, so there is a super, super simple fix for this. Um, quick disclaimer, this is a fix for if you have um, your Game Pass installed on a different drive. So you have your main drive, your C drive with your operating system that you, know, you boot your computer off of. If you have your app installed on an external drive or a different hard drive, you know anything like that, this will work, guaranteed. I will have further solutions for people who only have one drive. Um, and, and stick around towards the end of the video for that and I will help you guys out as well. But so when you get this error message right here and you cannot open your app, there is a super simple fix. So what you're gonna go ahead and do is you're gonna go to settings. And once you're in here, full screen that for you, you go to system and you go to storage. And once you're in storage, you need to hit change where new content is saved. And so right now I have my new apps will save to my hard drive, my D drive. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> because um, th this is where, that's my external hard drive. I want all of my, my Microsoft Store games, my Windows apps to install to my external drive. Um, my main drive is my C drive, my SSD, where my operating system is, how I boot my computer. So what you're gonna go ahead and do is you're gonna change it to your C drive because your C drive will always have your operating system on your computer. So you change it to your C drive, hit apply, and then you go back to your D drive or any of these other letters, does not matter. What it, those are just basically external storage drives. So mine's on my D drive in this case. And you're gonna go ahead and hit apply and switch it back. And that right there fixed it. That did everything you needed it to do. So now if I go back to the PC beta app, that thing's garbage by the way. <laughs> so many problems, man. So many bugs with this. Driven so many people crazy, I'm sure, just to go buy it off Steam. So, all right, all good. So now if I click on the Master Chief Collection, and I hit play. It's gonna pop up with that install, like Microsoft package install thing. You hit yes, look at that, loading up, just like that. No error message, no bull crap, just loads up. Um, so huge disclaimer here. Anytime you restart your PC, you turn it off, you turn it back on, you restart it, you will have to redo that process that I just showed you. Every single time, you will have to do that. Of where, of where you go into settings onto that, that drive um, here. Let me let me close the Master Chief Collection. There we go. I have to close that. <laughs> there we go. Awesome. So anytime you restart your computer, you will have to go back to settings and do this exact thing I showed you, where you switch it to your C drive and then back to your D drive or E drive, where, wherever your external hard drive is that you have it installed on. And so, if you're curious, the reason that is the way it is is because of the way Windows works. So if I go to my computer, my C drive, you guys on your C drive should have program files, program files 86, all that, all that stuff. This is where your operating system, all your Windows stuff is installed. On both of these, between these two, you're gonna have all this Windows stuff. So what happens is whenever you restart your PC or you turn it off and on, um, Windows Store, the Microsoft Store and this Xbox app, it starts looking for the Master Chief Collection in your Game Pass games on your C drive. It's like, oh, I'm installed on, on the C drive. My operating system's here. The games must be here too. And you're like, no, bitch, I, I put you on an external drive. So you basically, what you have to do is you have to go into settings and tell it, oh yeah, sure. Go ahead and go ahead and look on the C drive. The games are there, I swear. And then you switch it back and it properly checks your external drive. And it's like, oh, that's where the games are. Got it. So that's the only reason that happens. It's, it's a weird bug with the store and the Windows operating system and the way it looks for games. So mine was so broken to the point of where I was reinstalling the Master Chief Collection every time I wanted to play it, which was driving me crazy. So this, this is a quick solution of where it's, it's tedious, it's annoying, but you just load up your computer, go to this setting, switch it back and forth like that, you can play any of your Game Pass games. But I have consistently had, to, I've tested this about 10 times, where every, whenever I restart my PC, I have to do this and that fixes it. So um, yeah, make sure you do it <laughs> every time you load up and it will fix your game. It should launch without fail. Um, now, as for the people who do not have 
another drive. So you just have your basic C drive, you don't have any type of external storage device, and it's still doing this to you. So you should have, it's the Xbox PC beta app. So up here, this is the console companion where I can see my friends list and you know, it's, it's basically the console app on my computer. You have to download the PC beta app separately. It's its own thing where it will have a game launcher all along the side. I kind of showed it in the original part of the video. And so for most people, this should do it of where like you can see the Master Chief collection right up there and I click on it and you're just able to play it. Shouldn't be an issue. But let's say you're having an issue with this and it won't launch from here. What you can do then is you can type in Halo and like Master Chief Collection right there. You can try and click on it and run it from here. If it still will not run, and what you're gonna wanna do is scroll down. Okay, so what you're gonna wanna do is you can run it as an administrator. A lot of people have had an issue where sometimes maybe you're not the main administrator on your computer or you haven't given proper administrator uh, permission for it to run. So you can click run as administrator, that might do it. You can also just hit open here that also might do it. Um, if that doesn't work, a final potential solution is if you have this PC beta app, you're gonna go ahead and load it up and you're gonna make a desktop shortcut because Windows does not let you get to the file itself. They don't want you editing the registry or game files. So what you can do is you can right click on Halo the Master Chief Collection if you have this app and you can hit create a desktop shortcut. What that just did for me is that pulled up a little shortcut right down here. I'll drag that out for you guys to see. And now I can right click on it. I can run it as an administrator. I can open it. I can do other things with it. So um, the first solution was for if you have multiple drives and it was giving you that error. The second solution is for if you have one drive but you couldn't get it to launch. Um, kind of do a mix and match. You know, try, try these different methods if they didn't work for you. And please, in the comments below, if you, if you find other solutions or anything, uh, let's talk about it. <laughs> let's help out our other Halo players, especially with Halo 3 just coming out. Um, so yeah, I really hope this helped you guys out, you know, fixing your issues with getting this game launched. Let me know, let me know down in the comments if it worked for you. And if it did, hell yeah, <laughs> you know, happy to have more people playing the Master Chief Collection. Maybe I'll catch you guys in the Halo 3 multiplayer. All right, well, thanks for watching, everybody. And I will see you guys in the next one.